The Socapa Mountain Camp started three years ago. So this is our third summer. I ran filmmaking programs in New York City for 18 years now. Uh, so it was 15 years ago when I decided to try to do something locally. I'm from the town of Burke. Uh, where the mountain camp runs. So Kappa Filmmaking and Mountain Biking Camp is unique because it combines two completely separate things. So campers can come in with no mountain biking experience or no film experience and they learn how to work cameras and how to mountain bike and this is the perfect place to do it because we've got some of the best trails in the country. I think it's really immersive because a lot of these campers uh, are coming from you know suburbia, cities, more populated areas, and it's really cool to come to the Northeast Kingdom in Vermont, this relatively untouched space, and for kids to be able to spend every day riding on the trails. It's a really a one-of-a-kind camp, so we come here, we teach students about camera tech, we introduce them all the tech we have here, we have uh, we have drones like the Inspire, we have DJI Osmos, we have GH2 cameras, we have slow motion cameras, we have GoPros, we have all sorts of stuff, anything they could want to use. And then from there we teach them how to use Premiere Pro with the editing studio and then we take them out and we film. We are very hands on with the filming, showing them how to do stuff, teaching them about cinema, teaching them about you know what to look for when they're filming. And then we come back, help them process it, cut it up into an edit, and then how to present that for someone. It's an awesome experience. We really get right down to it and we get hands on cameras and we get kids on bikes and uh, try and learn as much as we can in a week and a half. Alex and Ella are our uh, residential pro coaches. So both of them currently race World Cups around the world. They ride for transition bikes. And uh, yeah, it's just really great to have them around. It's something that, you know, it's just another thing about this camp that is just, you know, you're not really gonna find somewhere else. On the filmmaking side, it, you know, we have a lot of kids that just love bikes and they love watching these videos but have never touched a camera before. So I really love seeing kids come in and, and getting their first camera experiences and, and learning how to edit and at the end of camp going home with their a cool little film. I think filmmaking is a hugely valuable uh, experience for young people um, to, to work in teams and collaborate and try to realize their vision, right? I'm into photography, so that's how I found this camp, but I think it's important to combine them because obviously with filmmaking you need something to capture and sports and action movies are a very big part of uh, the culture from where I'm, where I'm from and I think that it's very good to combine them and to create movies because as you learn one, you kind of learn the other. I have to say my favorite part of the camp would be the riding. You know, definitely riding some awesome trails, getting a lot of time out there. I think that I got to use some really cool camera equipment and um, I got some really good training in with that stuff and I think it was really helpful to give me the experience to that and uh, I think it got me into more of the whole filming stuff I think. My favorite part about the camp is the riding and how whenever you're riding you're not always filming. So you can go on rides with cameras or without. For me, I'm not really a rider. I really came here for more of the filming aspect. But it's been super cool to just see people like really work on their riding skills just because when you import your footage after you film, you can like look at your technique or your form and um, it's been awesome. I mean, even for me, it's been cool to just see people grow while they're filming. You can totally see the difference from day one to the last day. I'm very passionate about biking and I'm very passionate about filmmaking and um, the fact that I can get to combine that and pass it on to younger kids and have this be like an experience that they never forget, um, I really get a kick out of that. So I love um, teaching and I love sharing my knowledge with uh, the campers. You know, I think that even if you don't want to become a filmmaker, making a movie is a super, super interesting exercise for anybody to do. Because um, like I said, it's not a matter of if something's going to go wrong when you're making a movie, it's when is it going to go wrong and how am I going to deal with that obstacle and overcome it. And it's really cool to be able to see kids have that experience and be able to, to work around the obstacles that come out and, and become true filmmakers. My favorite aspect of Socapa is seeing the progress, whether it's in filming or in mountain biking. Um, some people come in with really no experience in both and um, it's really fun to see them ride trails at the end that they probably never thought that they could ride. And also just seeing them progress with editing and filmmaking. It's pretty cool how quickly um, they all catch on to using Premiere and 
My favorite part of the camp is the, the final showcase itself where you really see it, all the hard work you put in for the last 10 days um, come to fruition on the big screen and, and to see how proud all the students are when, when, when they walk away from that, that screening. Because um, that, that's our goal here is to have each, each camper come in and, and, and walk away with, uh, from the program with something they're, they're, they're very proud of. And so to see those proud faces makes, makes me proud and always chokes me up a little. So.